Today under molecular orbital theory, uh, we will be discussing the MO diagram of PTCL4-2- molecule and it is a square planar molecule. Few other examples are uh, platinum NH342 plus as well as NiCN42 minus. So basically all the examples are of D8 system and hence all the electrons will be paired and the molecules are diamagnetic in nature the square planar complexes they are formed by remo removing two electrons that is a two upper and the lower electrons from the octahedral complex and this is the structure of a ptcl4 so when we remove those electrons then we get a square planar structure and as a result uh, as we have studied in crystal field theory also that when these two electrons are removed the repulsion from the z-axis is reduced and the orbitals further split so over here the symmetries of the orbitals will be s orbital it is a1g again uh, as we have center of symmetry girard and ungirard will be written also the system or the point group is d4 H for this particular molecule. Uh, so uh, S it is A1G P orbital P X and Y have same energy. So it is uh, being designated as EU as they are ungirard and PZ it is A2U and further D orbital we have five orbitals so they further split uh, that is DZ square energy of DZ square it uh, it reduces and as a result uh, the orbital will be designated as a1g dx square minus y square it will be designated as uh, b1g uh, dxz and dyz will remain together as they have z component and that is eg and dxy is b2g so these are seven orbitals now out of those seven orbitals ligand group orbitals are a1g b1g and eu so these three orbitals uh, that is a1g eu and b1g so this three orbitals we have two a1g's in uh, metal two a1g's of metal b1g and eu of the metal will combine with uh, the uh, ligand group orbitals and as a result we will get bonding and anti-bonding molecular orbitals and the remaining orbitals uh, that is a2u eg and b2g will remain in the non-bonding uh, state so this is the mo diagram uh, that is a1g a1g of metal and a1g of ligand will combine to give a1g bonding a1g slightly anti slightly uh, anti bonding and completely anti bonding b1g with will combine with b1g and we will get bonding b1g we will get anti bonding b1g eu of the metal and eu of ligand will combine to give eu um, bonding and eu star that is anti bonding and the remaining a2u will be in non bonding state uh, b2g and eg are in the non bonding state these are the non bonding orbitals uh, so we have a total three non bonding uh, orbitals now talking about uh, ptcl4 2 minus uh, molecules uh, the electronic configuration of Platinum atomic number is 78, so it is xenon 4f14, 5d9, 6s1. And in this particular complex, the electronic configuration of platinum is plus 2. The electronic configuration will be xenon 4f14, 5d8. So basically, it is an uh, d8 system. There are 8 electrons in metal orbitals, and 8 electrons will be brought by 4 chlorine atoms. So we'll have eight electrons of the ligand that is chlorine and we have eight electrons of the metal that is platinum the electrons of ligand will be occupied in the bonding molecular orbital that is the eight electrons will be occupied in the bonding orbital while the electrons of the metal will be occupied in the non-bonding and the slightly anti-bonding orbital that is b2g so two electrons will be filled here uh, Two electrons, four electrons will be filled in EG, and remaining two electrons will be filled in uh, A2G. That is slightly anti-bonding. So there are total eight electrons, and all the electrons in this particular system are paired. And as a result, the complex is a diamagnetic complex. So this is the MO diagram for PTCl4, and this is the sigma bonding MO diagram of
PTCL for we are not concerning about a pi bonding this is only sigma bonding MO diagram thank you